Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. A few years ago, Peter was doing a, a program at the Book Review in Huntington. Um, he and his daughter Bethany were promoting a series of books of illustrated folk songs with CDs for children to learn to sing. And we had recorded just the year before one of Pete's songs, Light One Candle, on our first CD. So I wanted to get there and present him his own personalized copy of it. And, and he was very appreciative and he gave me his email address. <laughs> so when I found out that he was playing here, I emailed him and said, would you like harmonies? <laughs> on, because Stuart is shy and retiring. Yes. <laughs> and to my great surprise, he wrote back the next day and said, yes, that would be great. <laughs> I think all of us grew up with Peter, Paul, and Mary's music. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I remember singing it as you know, a six or seven year old in summer camp. And you know, there, he's a legend and an inspiration to us you know, to take folk music yeah. and sing it so well that people want to sing it along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and yeah. we all just love singing harmony. Yeah. So it was, it was a thrill. More, I, don't, I think we were more thrilled than nervous. Yeah. <laughs> The way I learned to sing harmony was when I was three years old with that first Peter, Paul, and Mary album, and my grandmother used to teach me how to sing harmony. How many seeds must a white dove sell? How many seeds must a white dove sell? A few butterflies in the stomach, like, uh, how many what's is this <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've sung that song seas, seas, a thousand seas, times seas, together, seas, yeah, yeah, but we're only checking with each other. We have it right. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, you don't want to freeze up and be nervous. No, I will know. admit that it was much more comfortable suddenly when the three of us could sing it together. How many years must one In the uh, in the cafe, and we see you know Stuart walking by with the guitar, and then we see you know Jerry, and then Hillary comes later. I'm going, why is gathering time here? They they're not just fans. Maybe they're going to sing. And Stuart said, yeah, we're going to sing with uh, Peter. And I said, oh, that's awesome. And you know we saw Peter here signing all the books, and Peter says to me, you are going to sing with me, aren't you? And I said. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say no? How many years can some people live to uh, It was fun. I just, uh, it's such a good time being with Peter, and this is probably about the fourth time I've been on stage with him, and I just, he's such a great guy. <laughs> We, we have a, a slogan in the band that Hillary coins, uh -huh. go ahead. Music is not a spectator sport. <laughs> and it's the most fun when you get people singing along. Yeah. And, and Pete really brings that and he just makes sure everybody knows that they have a job when they're out in the audience to sing with him. Mic check, and everybody would repeat. Mic check. check. All right, here we go. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. check. I would like you. I would like you to learn the words. To learn the words of the chorus of this song. Of the chorus of this song. Thank you yes. for Thank the you, Peter. decades of music <laughs> yeah. and inspiration, yeah. and and setting such a great example as as uh, a musician, a singer, and, and a human being.